guys, Dower here. It's Blue Spring Mod time. What do we mean by Blue Spring Mod? Well, the fuel pressure regulator, you see I've already got the uh, cover and all off here. Just four Torx T27, very easy to take off. The spring here controls how much pressure you have. What we're going to do is replace that stock spring with this. It's a fuel filter seal PR valve kit. This is a pressure regulating valve kit comes with all new o-rings and everything else you see here so we can replace any o-ring that we happen to uh, need to here and there's the blue spring that is the key we're going to go ahead and put the new cup in too because my cup is horrifically filthy this is what happens when you don't run the proper fuel filters Ah, horrible, horrible, horrible so I'm going to clean all this out as best as I can uh, I'm going to get in there and scrub all this clean and replace all this with new parts all right so hopefully you can see i've got a ton of crud in here so i'm going to clean clean this out as best as i can with some engine degree or some just purple power since i have elected to run out of my brake parts cleaner that i usually use We're just going to get in here and scrub everything out as clean as we can. And naturally we'll dry it as best as we can as well. Do not want oil, or uh, water rather, heading to your injectors. That's always a recipe for disaster. Alright, let's rinse this out and see if this is any better. While we're at it, as much gunk as was in there, let's go ahead and make sure that my banjo bolts are relatively clean. Make sure it's clean in there as well. The less crap I've got floating around, the better. Uh, it's not perfectly clean, but it's certainly better. Let's go ahead and dry this out with some clean paper towels. Here we're going to go ahead and take our old gasket out, and I'm going to walk over here and clean this down as well. It's because the inside of this looks like it's had some crap in it. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and dry this out real well. So normally I would clean this out with some brake parts cleaner, but it appears that since I'm filming this, I have run out. So instead, I'm going to bring this over and scrub by hand. Alright, now that's well dried out, I can go ahead and slide the fuel filter back in there. You could replace the fuel filter. If you've not replaced it lately, I would definitely do that. Um, I've only got a few hundred miles on since I've replaced mine, so I'm not going to replace it. Okay, now we've cleaned all this out, we're ready to go ahead and actually do our install. So we're going to open up our, our package. I'm going to take the plunger, set it in place, put our blue spring in. We've got all new gaskets, so we may as well go ahead and replace these. We'll take our old gasket out. Here we're going to go ahead and take our old gasket out and I'm going to walk over here and clean this down as well because the inside of this looks like it's got some crap in it. We'll take our new gasket, go ahead and make sure our new gasket is firmly, make sure our new gasket is firmly in place. And now we're ready to reinstall this. Reinstallation is extremely straightforward. You see there's a pocket in here. Make sure that the spring is in that pocket appropriately. Get our bolts. Start working on setting our bolts up. Help hold everything in place while we tighten it all down.
All right, so there's no actual torque spec on these, so all we're gonna do is just snug them up. See, I've got resistance. So I'll call it done. All right. So now we've got our blue spring mod in. We can go ahead and replace some of these other O-rings since we have new ones here. Um, I have good protrusion on both of those. I'm not gonna worry about replacing them. I'll hang on to them so I've got spares. But next, this entire assembly can go back into the truck. 